Okay, now we're continuing a lot of the same here. Uh, we're just doing the, uh, we're morphing this model from the side view in the same way as we did from the front view. Um, so here, we with culling selected as none, we're going to go straight through this chin. Like we're going to go, we're selecting on this side, but because this is selected none, we're going straight through to the other side using the move hammer. And we're just going to pull this whole region back. So anytime now, we're going to pull it back. There we go. And we're going to do it in a few different steps because it, you know, that one selection wasn't perfectly exactly what we want. So now we just did the lower chin. Here we go. You notice how these teeth are kind of sticking through now? That little bit is the teeth. So we already talked about this before and we locked them, but now we're going to hide them so they're completely out of view. Once you get the head shape perfect, you can select those, unlock those, unhide those teeth, select them, and then pull them back into the mouth. But we can do that after everything else is done. And again, we're just going to adjust the chin here a bit. We're not going to do worry too much about the neck because in the photograph, she's leaning forward with her head of it. Her head's kind of sticking forward. Well, the model, the 3D model is perfectly straight up. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just worried about the head area here up here. And so a lot of the same here. We're just going to uh, toggle like the, the lighting, use the G key, lighting on and off. See this nice and flat. Going to just uh, basic, uh, if I remember correctly, just do a little bit of morphing to make that hair sort of bulge out. There we go. Just to give it a little bit of depth there. It looks a little funny from the front, so we're going to tweak that. And he here we're using the, sh the, uh, the shiny gray display mode. This is really good for morphing um, because you can see all the little nooks and crannies and details. These highlights will give away any sort of bad geometry you might have or any little crevices that you're not expecting. And you can get that in the viewports display mode uh, section. There we go. And uh, pretty much this is morphed the way we like it. And um, we're ready to start applying our texture. And that's going to be the par next part of the video is how to, uh, to uh, use these photo references that we just did. And I'm renaming that Morph Kate. Um, so we are going to uh, use these photo references again, but this time to actually paint the texture onto this newly reshaped uh, model. So stay tuned, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.